Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my 5 a.m. morning routine. It is 5.30 in the morning right now. I look a little bit rough. We're going to ignore that and I'm going to get changed. Leave a like and subscribe while I do that. And just like that, I have my fitness stuff on for my workout. We're also going to ignore this scratch that I have on my face. Don't ask questions. It is what it is. Oops. Now time for my hair looking a little rough like i said i just like to toss it in a ponytail obviously i'm gonna get sweaty during this workout why i book really early workouts at my condo gym is because it honestly sets my intentions for the day i think that's super important it's how i feel best when i start my day everyone always says how do you possibly get up at 5 30 in the morning and do a workout like i'm not even awake honestly your body adjusts. I've been doing it for so long now that my body has completely gotten used to it. 5.30 a.m. feels like 7 a.m. to me now. I know that sounds crazy. Obviously, have to hit the body with that deodorant. And apparently, I like to do a little dance while I do it. A little spritz from Bath & Body Works. Never hurt anybody. Time to get the shoes on. Honestly, I didn't realize I had this many socks until I filmed this video. I have an entire drawer of every kind of sock you can think of, but I always go for a classic white when working out. Another reason why I like to work out in the morning very early is because I have to work days from Monday to Friday. So getting my workout done in the morning just allows me to do all the extra stuff that I have to do for my personal channel, my acting, auditions, things like that. I need my evenings to do that stuff. So getting the workout done in the morning really allows me to use my entire day. Does anyone else feel like there's not enough hours in the day sometimes? This kind of helps me get more hours in my day. I'm up earlier, gives me more hours. Honestly, it's a win-win for me. Another thing that I love about morning workouts is that it keeps me off my phone. Normally, if I'm not working out in the morning, when I wake up, I'm using the first few minutes to sit there and look on social media. It's terrible. It's a horrible habit. I'm not proud of it. This forces me to get up and get ready and head to the gym because I have to be there. I have a time slot right now. We have to book times at my building. I like to put a water bottle in the fridge the night before. That way it's super cold. I'm one of those people that need really cold water. It's weird. I know. Now, because of COVID times right now, we have to book time slots for the gym and we have to fill out this test screening before we go down and check in at the lobby and give them the results. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna fill out this form and then I'm gonna head down and then check in with the security at the front desk and they will let me up to the gym. We do have to wear masks to the gym. We can take the masks off while at our certain machine or station, but we do have to have them on in between moving to stations and things like that. So of course I picked the tackiest mask possible. Today I'm doing upper body. I have about 45 minutes to an hour to get a workout in. I'm going to do a full upper body workout, time under tension, really push it. And I'm gonna finish off with some abs. Now I didn't film my workout because honestly, it's just a distraction to me. And this is my me time. I really like to be focused and off my phone and off electronics during my workout. So I filmed little snippets for you, but if you wanna see full workouts, just follow me on social media and things like that. At this time I'm doing abs, it is 6.42. I just wanted to give you guys some kind of idea of how long my workouts are and what time it is by the time I'm done. I usually get my workouts done uh, just before seven. I'm a sweaty mess, so don't mind me. Be right back, I'm going to shower. We're still going to ignore the mark on my face. You know, it is what it is, but we're gonna do some quick skincare. Now, based on how much time I have, like if I had a shorter workout, I would do a longer skincare routine. But for now, I'm just gonna be putting on some toner and some moisturizer because my skin is very dry. And apparently uh, the camera did not want to focus, so I was unable to show you guys the brands, but the toner is Belief. And then I'm gonna be finishing off with Cure Aloe Moisturizer. Love some good skincare in the morning after a workout and a shower. I feel like a million bucks. Like by the time it's 7 a.m., I feel like I've done a whole self-care day. Now it's time to get ready, do my hair and makeup because I have a whole lot of filming to do every day. Now, while I do my makeup and my hair, this is a time that I love every morning. A few things happen. On Mondays, I like to listen to the 
Elevation Church YouTube channel. They post their services every Monday because they happen on Sunday. And I personally just love Stephen Furtick. I love his messages. I think he's great. I love starting off my week with listening to his service. So on Mondays, you will find me pulling that up on YouTube and just letting it play while I get ready with my hair and makeup. And then on the other days of the week, I like to do morning manifestation affirmations. I started doing this as a routine recently. 10, 15 minutes, it's amazing. I love doing it while I'm getting ready. It makes me feel good mentally. It puts me in a good mental place before I head to the studio. So honestly, I wasn't a big fan of manifestation and manifesting and meditating and things like that, but I have been loving it recently. I'm really trying to do that. And other moments, I am on the speakerphone with my boyfriend because we live in different cities. So sometimes if I'm getting ready, um, we will also chat on the phone before he heads into work. So now I'm one of those crazy people who curl their hair and then brush them out afterwards. <laughs> I curl them really tight and then I like to run my fingers through it, brush it out. It's crazy. Everyone's always like, do not brush your hair after curling it. And I tell everyone to do it. I like to put in some extra dry shampoo on my roots because my roots get very greasy very easily. Like honestly, I can just shower and then they look greasy. So I like to go in with some dry shampoo and then I'll put a little bit of hairspray at the end. Now I know hair and makeup seems like such a little ridiculous thing when it comes to self-care. And I don't think everyone needs to do their hair and do their makeup to feel good. But this is the time when it's the only time of the day that I'm forced to be like off electronics. I'm not on camera normally, obviously I'm filming this today, but it's my time to just start my day with good intentions. At this point, I've gone for a workout, I've showered, I've done self-care, which skincare is what I mean. and. Now during this time, I'm doing mental health care. I'm working on my mental health. I'm setting good intentions with the meditating. I'm listening to positive things. I'm not on social media. So I really use this time to set the intentions for the day and try to start my day in a good headspace. Now time to get changed. And obviously I cannot show you that part. I do like to set candles in the morning. I know that's super like YouTube influence vlogger, but I got a lot of candles as housewarming gifts. So I honestly just set them when I'm working from home, just as like a little, I don't know, mood setter. Makes me feel very homey and cozy. I just got this perfume on the weekend. It was honestly $5 because it was on sale. It was like regularly like I think $12.99 and it smells amazing. That's such a random fact of the day, but thought you should know. Now, first things first, I always like to get lemon water going. I told you I like a lot of ice in my water. I will cut a fresh lemon every day into my water. Something about lemon water. It's good for your metabolism. It's good for your skin. I just really enjoy it because I drink a lot of water and it adds a little bit of natural flavor. And the first meal of the day I will normally have when I do my morning workouts is a protein shake smoothie. I like to freeze my bananas um, individually in the freezer because it acts almost like you're adding ice into your smoothie to make it very like, um, what's the word, thick? Like almost like a milkshake in a sense. I'm gonna do some frozen berries with this banana and then I'm going to go in with my vanilla vegan protein. I am gluten-free and dairy-free. That is why I have to use vegan protein because it cannot have any dairy and whey protein has dairy. So this one is gluten-free and dairy-free, completely vegan, plant-based. I'll go in with that and then I will also go in with my unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I am a sucker for almond milk and oat milk. Like I said, dairy-free. Timing your protein with your workouts is super important, especially for me because I take my weight training very seriously. So I do like to time it not long after my workouts. I like to get that protein in. I also forgot to mention, I add this sea moss gel into all my smoothies. I know it looks weird. It's literally like seaweed in a sense, but into a gel form. It's very good for digestion. If you don't follow me on social media, I have IBS. So it's really meant for healing gut health. Cheers. This smoothie is delicious. I can't choose between vanilla protein and chocolate protein because they're both so good. Now, normally I would be taking all these things to go and working at the studio because some days I work at the studio and some days I work from home. So today I'm going to be working from home and setting myself up on the couch. 
And it is at that point, I've had my breakfast, I've had my workout, I'm ready to get started for the day. I'm either going to make a green tea matcha latte from home or I'm going to make some coffee. And today I chose coffee because it is a Monday. Now it's about 7.50, I start my work days at 8 a.m. So I'm just getting set up for the work day. And that is it, I'm gonna start my work day and I will finish around 4 p.m. and then I will continue to work on my personal stuff. I hope this kind of gave you an insight as to why I personally choose to wake up super early, get workouts in, what my morning routine is like, the time frame. It is possible. I know it's not for everyone. I really enjoy early mornings. Like I said, sets good intentions, gives me more hours in the day. It's just a really good feeling. It makes me feel good physically and mentally. And that is the most important thing to me. See you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.